Good evening one and all and welcome to the video. My name is Samil Shah. In this video, I want to show you a beautiful example of SQL transaction and where we would even use this, right? So let me uh, read one of the two definitions and then I'm going to show you a live example that I've done in my company. I've programmed this, right? So let me show you about that. Um, a transaction is a unit of work that is performed against a database. Transactions are unit of sequences of work accomplished in a logical order, whether in a manual fashion by a user, automatically by some sort of database program. Essentially, a transaction, uh, uh, the following commands are used to control a transaction, commit, rollback, save points at transaction. I've taken this quote from this guy called Betham on GitHub. Wonderful job. Now, let me explain you the use case. So here is the problem. So the, essentially what I'm going to show you in the code is uh, I have a scenario in my company where I had to essentially uh, update a flag on the table. There's a, there's a table and I had to update a flag on that. After that is done, now that also sets that based on the flag, that I also set uh, essentially a cron on event bridge on AWS, right? Now the problem is say you, say you set the flag on the table to false. But while setting up the cron job, something failed. Now you have an ambiguity. Database is pointing to uh, basically true and the uh, event bridge is pointing to false. So they're completely messed up, right? So essentially in order to solve this problem, what you wanna do is you wanna use a SQL transaction. You wanna execute the query, but you would only commit at the end of your logic. So for example, when I, I execute the query for updating a flag, then I go ahead and create my cron job. And once the cron was successful, then only I'm gonna say commit. If not, if it goes raises an exception, goes to that and close the connection. Essentially, this is how a SQL transaction is formed. So let me show you uh, some code, man. Uh, this is what I wrote for my company, and I I, I just want to walk you um, over um, um, that. And I think it's 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 it's, in, uh, it's it should be good. I have a class called SQL connection, uh, and uh, it inherit uh, this uh, right here. I create an instance of a class database settings. Uh, so all the connection string that comes from the database class here, and I said auto commit as false because I don't want to commit it. I would because I want to define my transaction here. So now, just uh, I'm, I'm I'm about to show you the logic. I created a connection. This is a SQL or a stored procedure that I had to execute. I execute that, so this essentially turns on or off a flag on database. Now here is the thing. Now this one right here, I said commit as false. So this is not gonna commit, remember that. So now what I did is I'm also creating my event bridge here. As you can see, I'm setting up this, uh, don't worry about what it does, but fo focus on the functionality. So first of all, uh, uh, over here, I'm gonna write comment. This is my step one, execute or update things on database. So once you do that, there is a second level of logic, right? This, this is a dependent task, step two, create event bridge based on cron so if essentially my first was failed right and uh, so first was passed and the second was failed there's a problem so you only want to do a commit in a transaction you essentially commit the code so after this logic is done the blue part right then only i say commit that's when even this and this gets so you want to make sure that both of them were successful right so a sql trans you can use sql transaction approach here to do this you execute the as you can see here in my company code as well line 174 i executed the sql and i said commit false i'm not committing it i'm only committing when both of them are are, are good and remember if something went wrong in the event bridge on the cron job uh, if the class returns an error i'm raising an exception if it raises an exception, the commit is not committed. Both of them has both of them will fail. We close the connection, return the error message to the to the client. So I hope this makes sense. Uh, thanks to this dude, uh, he has done a wonderful job. I took some code snippets from here. Betham, he has wrote an entire all these classes. Beautiful man. He has given example. Um, so you try here. You give it a SQL. You basically create an instance. You create a cursor object. Then you execute some business logic. Then you have to do some other things. If something goes wrong there, it goes to the error handling, and then you essentially don't commit it, right? So a classy example of a SQL transaction. Uh, hope this video has helped you to learn something new. And um, uh, I would leave the links of that SQL transaction of PyODBC essentially in the description section below. I'm pretty sure a lot of software engineers already know it. Uh, it's pretty common, but not everyone knows it, right? My goal here is to make sure people uh, who do not know, I, I mean, there are so many people who don't know the right way. And that's exactly what I'm trying to show you in my videos. So hope you have enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, let me know in the comment section. And uh, if you have any more questions, list your question in the comments. 
And that, with that being said, thank you so much for watching the video. Keep smiling, keep programming. We'll keep learning new and new things. See you guys in the upcoming next video.